have a lot of goals in life and I don't want people to just uh, underestimate me. We go through problems where we can still end up being successful. What I want to accomplish is, you know, just do something nice for somebody else. It's time for me to, to be more of a man and just give back. Quisha McLean and I'm 15. It started at school with girls and like that really brung me down. And then at home, I was like getting put down too. And then it was just like, I really just didn't have nobody to talk to. So I started cutting myself and then I overdosed and then I tried to commit suicide. To me, she was always happy. She'd come in, play, like a normal child, and but on the inside, she was just being ate up. You really can see the pain that she's had on her face, and then when you read her poetry, you can hear the pain. People look at her as being different, and she kind of feels like she's lonely, like nobody understands. I noticed a little changes in her, but I didn't know it was as bad, and she was the one decided that she needed help. My name is McQuisha McLean. My hobbies are writing and dancing, and I go to Central High School. Once we found out the problem, we addressed the problem. Like usually, like people just tell you what to do. Like they give you medication. You got to take this. You got to do this. You got to do that. But like with the system of care, they ask you, "What do you want?" Like they're not gonna let your your mom or daddy talk for you. They ask you. And like you have to talk, you have to open your mouth and speak to them or unless you won't get help. In the past, uh, I think professionals just kind of assumed that they knew what would be best for youth and their families. And many times we were wrong. With Youth Guided, they really ask. What do you think might work best for you? What support do you need? When you get that voice from that child, they know exactly what works and what doesn't work. So the whole point of you being here with the Youth in Action team is that we gotta let people know things like this. That did you know there are tons of successful people out there that have gone through the system of care that have succeeded in life? The that Youth in Action group is a group of teens that come together to talk about issues in our community and like find ways to help out our community and just have fun and be teens. The Youth Council main goal is to stomp out the stigma for the people who have mental health illnesses that they can't do things and function as a normal person. My name is Tasha Craig. I go to Central High School and I sing. The Youth Council is a very important part of our system because it gives a voice to our youth. What's so beautiful about the Youth Council is that they come together and however they are is okay. There is full acceptance. And with that full acceptance then, the youth know that, hey, I can really contribute. We're gonna play a game, and as I tag you, you gotta turn around at that person and see what's on your back. Give them some clues. You cannot tell them who they are. This particular exercise is focusing on very successful people who've had um, mental health diagnosis and how they overcame it. Who was you? Tom Cruise. How did you know he was Tom Cruise? What key word was given? Drunk said a ship. The expensive boats, you know. Yes. Okay, uh, I got it. That's a key word. Good, good, good. I am John Moore and I'm Vice President of the Youth in Action Council. Well, I have ADHD and you know? it was hard, you know, trying to as I was coming through school, because I was so impulsive, I didn't, I never thought, and I, I actually had a temper problem too. There were times where we butted heads, and it was more or less because I didn't understand what was going on, he didn't understand what was going on. I'm thinking, this kid is just bad. And when he got put behind bars for a little while in juvenile detention, and he saw his mom walk away and cry, he said, nobody's ever separated me from my mom. Hey son, what's up dude? I think it was, Around a year and a half ago, just through talking to some friends of the children's friends and their parents, 
We Heard of Mule Town. All right, we just want to talk to you today about how your goals are going, your jigs are going. They listen to what you're saying. Basically, they, they give you some options and they ask you if you like them. They don't just say, okay, that's it. Like, tell us how we can help you. So, you know, when I first got here, I didn't understand. I just kind of sat there, I'm like, are you serious? They listened to what it was I had to say. You know, it was like Burger King, you know. I had it my way. He's changed quite a bit. He is more responsible. He takes the time to think about things rather than just impulsively doing them or saying them. So, you, you really want to try this? Let's try it. Let's try it. Jerron has motivated this group to say, hey, we are the best. You know, regardless of our diagnosis, regardless of whether you have it or not, we're still human beings. What I want to accomplish is, you know, just do something nice for somebody else. You know, because people have been doing nice things for me since before I can remember. So it's time for me to, to be more of a man and just get back. One of the best parts about being in the Youth in Action Council is uh, the opportunity to uh, just get out in the community and speak. We visit daycares. have that are like 10 or 15 percent more likely to become artists or poets or authors because that part of our mind is more open than someone who does not have that disorder. We do public speaking. Over two-thirds of young people do not seek or talk about mental health problems. We even do a lot of interviews. Tell me about your youth group. We try to make people that want to go somewhere in life go. Do what they have always wanted to do, not because they have a um, disorder or diagnosis. And we go to conferences. It was like awesome, and it was fun to go to Portland. It was exhilarating. It was just one of the best experiences I ever had in my life. You know, they show you every day what they can do, and so many times these are children that others tend to to say, "Oh no, they can't do that." And they can. I'm going to put on those steps. Can we reach this one? G is for embarrassed. Whoops, I made a mess. G is for grumpy when I need a good rest. My name is Summer and I'm 15 years old. Well, I'm ADD and it's really hard. People make fun of you for it. Like sometimes I do too much or I move too much or I talk too much and people make fun of you for things like that. She come across me through um, when I was doing a project at a school and telling her about the Youth Connection program. He pulled me aside and told me, uh, you know, he sees a lot in me. He was just, you know, said that anything is confidential, that we can all talk about stuff together, everybody's going through the same things you're going through. Well, really, I just didn't have a life period. I would stay to myself, you know, I didn't like to talk to people about problems. She's a real quiet young woman. And since joining the youth group, Already she feels a level of acceptance that has been so vital for her. I feel like I can share things with them and I can tell them things about myself and it won't matter because they're going through the same things that I'm going through, you know? We go from family problems to diagnosis to, you know, reaching out and helping people. That's pretty. The youth group has really enjoyed going to daycare centers and, and reading to to the children in the daycare centers about difference and that people are um, very different, each of us as individuals, and that you should celebrate that. They make me feel better about myself, the whole group, everybody in it, Mr. Martin, everybody, they make me feel like I can, you know, like there's something there for me that I can do and they make me help me reach my goals. Oh no. Look at that face. Sometimes when you have um, you know, disabilities or, or challenges, you don't always feel like you fit in with your other friends or you're trying to keep up with your other friends and she can just be herself. She can be comfortable because everybody's there for the same reason. She's trying to do anything that's positive, anything that keeps her, you know, feeling good about herself. I just wanted to be like, she's a girl that helps somebody, you know, like she can get out there and do it. It is so vital to realize that even though someone may have a diagnosis, it may affect how they go about doing something, but it doesn't affect their ability. I am very optimistic about the Youth Council initiating a strong movement that will 
educate the members of our community about mental illness. You gotta listen to these kids. It's a whole different ball game. When they speak, they're very powerful. I want people to really have the respect for youth and their ideas and their capacity to change and grow in a positive way.